this is David with Cartoon Fortress. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel today. I have what I think is going to be a very exciting slate of films to unbox for you today. Now all three of these are limited edition sets and they come to us by way of Eureka. And more specifically, these come from the Eureka Masters of Cinema line that they put out. Some very impressive titles that they have put out over the years and this is no exception. Now I want to make note of a couple of things here. Number one, Criterion does have a really good edition of this film available, so if you want to go that route, that might be the way to go because this particular version is now OOP or out of print. Interestingly enough, I went onto the site and I tried to make a purchase and it added to the cart. It showed that it was in my cart and everything was fine and then I went to check out and it showed that there was an issue. I had an error message pop up stating that there was an issue and that there was actually zero in stock of this particular item. So my heart fell out of my body. I thought I had missed out on this edition, but I decided to email Eureka and sure enough they said hold off because there might be a couple more trickling back in stock, maybe canceled orders or something like that. Um, sure enough I logged, or not logged back on, but went back onto the site later that day and was able to secure a copy, get it ordered, and now I have it. And this is uh, from Masaki Kobayashi, and this is Kwaidon. Now this is a Japanese film, this is an anthology, and is one that I have been waiting to watch for a long time. I've heard amazing things about it. It's got a longer uh, runtime. This comes in at 183 minutes. So this is a longer film, but like I said, it's an anthology, so it's a little bit more episodic like that. But uh, very excited to get into this. And this particular box set has, uh, as you can see on the side here, and we'll, we'll dive in here in a minute, but the uh, Blu-ray, of course, and then we have a very nice book included, as well as this very nice hardbound box. So that uh, is the first title. And I want to veer off course here for just one second and if you're into uh, uh, Japanese film, ghost stories, that type of thing, which quite on very much is, um, then there's another recommendation uh, that I wanted to make and that is for uh, the Criterion edition of Kira Neko. I've seen this once, I did a blind purchase on this and I am very happy with said purchase. This is very much worth picking up and diving into. Again, if you're into Japanese cinema, ghost stories, that type of thing, there's no way that this will let you down. And this has some uh, really great extra features, as always, with Criterion and a very nice uh, booklet inside as well. So just something to make note of if you have an interest in that genre. All right, next up we have a continuing series that Masters of Cinema has been producing and this is volume two. I know volume three was announced. Now these don't actually say um, volume one, volume two, volume three on the cover or anything like that, but it's, it's kind of an, an, un, an unofficial uh, volume one, two, three. So anyways, uh, this is the Masters of Cinema Buster Keaton three film collection. So here we get uh, The Navigator, Seven Chances, and Battling Butler. And as you can see here, we have uh, new 4K restorations as well, which is really great. Um, so another nice hardbound box uh, with the book included. Can't wait to dive in on that one. And the third set that we have here is a larger box set. Uh, this is a director that I have started to, um, I, I've started to watch his work. I've seen two or three of his films thus far and am pretty much hooked. Uh, very excited to watch uh, more of his stuff. And this is, again, Masters of Cinema, uh, Fuller at Fox. Five films from 1951 through 1957. And as you can see here, we have uh, the films here and then we have an included uh, booklet as well with some great cover art there 
and just a really nice looking red box here. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and dive into these sets uh, so you can see what's on the inside. All right, everybody. So here we have the quite on set. Again, this is from the Masters of Cinema. Very nice packaging on this on this set. Some very striking cover art and just that nice solid feel of the hardbound box. It's my favorite type of set to collect because it just feels so uh, so substantial. I mean, you really feel like you're getting a lot out of this. So, all right, so let's go ahead and go back over to the cover art so you can see very striking here. And I wanna make note as well of the, uh, the spine number. Um, so this is Masters of Cinema. And you can see here as well, number 228. So here's the cover art and then you have the writing that's kind of in this faded dark gray here on the back as well. Here is the spine. And let's jump to the oops to the back here. Give you a chance to read up. In fact, if we move up a little bit here, we can include the special features as well. So the book that's included is a 100 page perfect bound uh, illustrated collector's book featuring reprints of, uh, and I'm gonna just butcher this name, uh, Lafsadio Hearn's original ghost stories. So very, very cool. And again, this comes in at a runtime of 183 minutes. And I also need to make mention here that this is a region B title if you're in the United States like I am and you have a standard region A player, this disc will not play. My advice is to purchase a region free player, which is what I did a while ago and it is the best purchase you could make. I have the Sony BDP S3700 and I purchased mine on Amazon via 220, so 220-electronics. They're a great seller, and they have wonderful customer service as well, so I would purchase without hesitation from them. All right, and then here's the side with our contents. Let's go ahead and pull those up out now here. All right, first up we have the Blu-ray case, so here's our cover art. I'm not sure if we're gonna get <coughs> a reversible cover art on here or not, but, and then we have the same information on here as was on the back of the box, so we won't stay on there very long. And we do have reversible cover art, but it looks like it just reverses to what we have on the main cover, so we'll go ahead and keep uh, keep the art as is. All right, so there's the disc art. And actually, do you know what? it's? Usually I don't do this, but I'm not a huge fan of the of that uh, opposite cover art. So I actually am gonna make this one uniform here and just go with the the black and red version here. I think that's some pretty neat artwork. So we'll actually go ahead and stick with that. All right, now here's the book. Now this is, yeah, nice and weighty. This is, a again, a perfect bound book. Really cool yellow color here. There's the back. There's the front with some little blurbs on reviews of the film. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in here. Give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect. So there's the inside and then our uh, film credits and then contents here. I'll just kind of skip like several pages at a time here. So we have some writings, some pictures here. So again, so the there's some ghost stories published in here. So a lot of reading to get to, which I always love. There's nothing to me better than a nice book included with a with a film. I think they make a very nice companion piece. All right, so most more stories and illustrations here. 
it will not be long until I'm in here reading all of this. And then some photos here at the end. And then, oh good, yeah, they do have some restoration notes here and then Blu-ray credits and then some viewing notes on, looks like the aspect ratio. Um, and it says here that the film image as intended when shown on a widescreen display. So there's a, an example of how it should be looking. All right, so some technical notes on that. All right, and then of course this fits all nicely back into the box here. So really a really fantastic set here. Moving on, we have the Buster Keaton three film collection. So again, this is unofficially volume two. It doesn't say volume two on the cover, but this is the second uh, Buster Keaton set that they have produced. Uh, the first one I, I was actually, I had not started collecting from Eureka when the first set was out. So that's gonna be very difficult to get my hands on. Um, I've done a little bit of searching online on eBay and whatnot, and uh, it's just not gonna be easy to find. So hopefully one day I'm able to obtain that set. I love the color on this cover. It's a very striking reddish, orange, um, definitely more red, but it's got kind of this hint of orange in there that's just really, really neat looking. All right, so here is our cover art. So this is spine numbers 221 through 223. So each of the three films has their own number. Oops, here we go. So a cool illustration type image here. There's the contents of the box. Let's go ahead and jump to the back here. Give you a chance to read up here. You can pause if you'd like to do so. And then moving down here, you can pause again if you'd like to read up on the special edition contents or extra features here. So these films are from 1924 through 1926 and come in at a runtime of 201 minutes uh, with an aspect ratio of 1.33 to 1. And this is also a region B set. So you'll need a region B player or a region free player to be able to play these discs. There's the spine. Let's go ahead and jump in here. This is very similar to the uh, quite on set in terms of packaging. All right, so there's the spine on the Blu-ray case. There's the cover and the back, which is gonna have, again, the same information as on the box. All right, so we have a nice uh, flipper tray here. So we have just kind of standard coloring on these discs. So the first disc, we have the film, The Navigator. And then disc number two, we have Seven Chances. And disc three, we have Battling Butler. Let's go ahead and take off the, or take out the disc here and show you there is an image behind there, which is a nice touch. It's got kind of a red tint to it. All right, so that's, so no reversible cover art, but again, we have that image behind, which is really nice. All right, so here we have another perfect bound book. This one is probably about half or one third of the size of the quite on book, but uh, yeah, perfect bound with the same coloring as the cover with another really fun illustration here with the name of the three films included. And then of course the name of Buster Keaton here. All right, let's dive into the book here. So here we have contents. And really fun images here. Lots of writing to 
read up on lots of uh, interesting information in these books I really do love diving into these this is where the the real education film education seems to come into play it's wonderful viewing the films but then afterward reading up on all of this you you really learn a lot about production and a lot more about the actors and things like that I just I love it a lot of times there's some very interesting stories that surround production of these films and it made note there on a few pages back that Buster Keaton in his autobiography so I'll have to look up I've I'm newer to the works of Buster Keaton and I would certainly love to read an autobiography if there's one in, in print out there so I'll have to do some research on that if you if you know of uh, the title or availability of his autobiography definitely let me know in the comments I'd love to look into that so we have the blu-ray credits and viewing notes as well so again yeah with a 1.33 to 1 aspect ratio you'll definitely have the black bars on the sides so that is correct what it's showing here absolutely and then finally a couple of images back here and then the back of the book get these back into the really nice hardbound box here so that is Buster Keaton the Navigator, Seven Chances, and Battling Butler. All right, moving on here to our final set. We have, again, Fuller at Fox, five films from 1951 through 1957. And this is a limited edition box set, contains uh, five Blu-ray discs. And so that's the cover there. Here is the spine, so lists all five of the films included, and this is spine numbers 111, 116, 127, and then 216 and 217. So five individual spine numbers here, and looks like these come to us from 20th Century Fox, which is of course no longer 20th Century Fox at time of filming this video, and then the Eureka logo up there. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and read up on the information on the back of the box here, kind of introducing Samuel Fuller. And then moving down, here is the limited edition Blu-ray box set, uh, special features that you can look forward to. And then we have also, just like the Quite On set, uh, we have a 100 page perfect bound collector's book. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the box here. And then actually we have some interesting quotes up here on top of the box. First from Samuel Fuller himself, a film is like a battleground. It's love, hate, action, violence, death, in one word, emotions. And then the great Martin Scorsese says, if you don't like the films of Samuel Fuller, then you just don't like cinema. And I have to admit, yeah, the, the works that I've seen from Samuel Fuller are uh, quite amazing. Um, I think the highlight for me thus far would have to be Shock Corridor. Um, really excellent film, and uh, one definitely worth looking at. But he, he's got a lot of, a lot of really great work. Um, I do want to mention as well. I had mentioned earlier about Qui Don having a Criterion release. That is also the case for Forty Guns. Uh, Criterion has a release that's, I believe, just about a year old, I want to say, at this point. Um, I believe it was a 2019 release, but uh, yeah, 40 Guns is also available via Criterion if that at all interests you. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and set the box aside there. Okay, so first up here we have spine number 127. This is fixed bayonets. There's the cover art on that one. And there's the Blu-ray information, including the special features that you can expect. This is from 1951 and is in black and white and has a runtime of 92 minutes. And looking, okay, yeah, here we go, region B. So this is region B. I believe all of these are gonna be region B locked. Okay, oh, interesting. So here we have, now I don't know what this particular set is limited to in terms of the uh, number of sets that they produced, but it looks like I have limited edition number 67. It's always kind of fun to see what number you get. This is one of the lower ones that I've ever received on a limited set. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that maybe outside of this. So. That's an interesting card. Oh, and then you have a pretty striking image of Samuel Fuller on the back here. Okay, so we have yeah, just kind of a plain colored disc here, but you get this image in the background, which is nice. It's the little touches like that that are always really nice. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set that aside. So next up, now this is probably out of the five films included in this set, I think this is the one that I'm most excited about. I'm a huge film noir fan. Um, and in fact, I'm part of a film noir group on Facebook and, and just even in terms of the film community in general, pick up on South Street's one that I've heard of many, many times. So very excited to dive in. This is spine number 111. All right, so here's the back here if you want to read up. Uh, from 1953, this is a runtime of 80 minutes. And again, in black and white and region B locked. All right. So here's the disc. So just these plain, plain colors on these discs, which is fine. Then you have a couple of different uh, posters of the film, which is really fun. So very much looking forward to that. Um, lots of different film noir recommendations I could make. If that's a video that you'd be interested in, definitely let me know in the comments. I think that's one that I'd like to uh, produce at some later point, but that's a genre that I really love. Uh, next up here we have Spine number 216, this is Hell and High Water. Really great cover art here. And flipping over to the back here. Uh, so this is from 1954 with a runtime of 103 minutes and is in color and also region B. This time around, we get a. I don't know if that's black or like a really dark, like navy blue, but at any rate, we have a dark colored disc there. And then this image in the back there. All right, so that's. In the film number three, film number four, we have House of Bamboo. Oh, interesting. So we have Robert Ryan and uh, Robert Stack, I'm a big fan of. Uh, for kids of my generation that grew up in the 80s and the 90s, he was the very scary looking host of uh, Unsolved Mysteries and actually had some appearances, at least one appearance in the Twilight Zone, Rod Serling's The Twilight Zone, in uh, actually one of my favorite episodes of that show. But uh, at any rate, yeah, so Robert Stack, and then 
jumping to the back here. We have, uh, this is from 1955 with a runtime of 102 minutes in color and also region B. All right, and they stick with the green color that we have on the outside there. So here's the, here's the disc and there's the image on the inside. All right, and finally, coming to our final film here, this is Samuel Fuller's 40 Guns, spine number 116. And let's jump to the back here. And uh, so this is a Western starring Barbara Stanwyck. Uh, she's got a great role in this film. She definitely uh, she definitely has quite a, an on-screen presence and it's a really great performance by her. I've, I've seen this uh, via the Criterion release and um, it's, not, uh, it's not a, it, I don't know how I want to say it. it, it's not a conventional Western in some ways, it's, but Samuel Fuller, really none of his work is what you'd call super conventional, but um, it's a Western, but it definitely has a kind of a different flair to it. Uh, not, not to mention that it's got a very strong female performance in the lead role, which I think is very refreshing to see. Um, just being the fact that there are so many strong male uh, roles and performances and things like that, it's really nice to see. Uh, someone as talented and wonderful as Barbara Stanwyck really take the reins on this one, no pun intended. All right, and so this is uh, from 1957, is 80 minutes, and is in black and white, and is region B. All right, so here's the disc. So that's the color we get on that one. And then we have this great artwork. So this is, in, the, in this case, is a uh, re uh, reversible cover art. Not too big of a fan of the art in there, so I think we'll definitely stick with the art as is here. And finally, we get our 100 page perfect bound book so just like the one in, in Quite On, included with Quite On, this is 100 pages. And we'll go ahead and dive in here. So we have a listing of the films, and then there's, it uh, looks like a book. So this collector's book features numerous excerpts from Samuel Fuller's magnificent 608 page memoir, A Third Face, My Tale of Writing, Fighting, and Filmmaking, which can uh, which includes an introduction by Martin Scorsese. Interesting. So that's going to be a book that I, I'll definitely look at uh, picking up. So again, here we have the film. So it looks like we have writing on uh, each of the films, which is great. So go ahead and flip through here a little bit. Maybe <laughs> try and position the book just so here. So some great photos and writing here. Whoops. Show you a little bit more here. So there's 40 guns. And it's interesting the and there's the images in the back here. But it's interesting we kind of have these uh, color coded pages. I don't know if you can make that out there. We actually have color-coded pages for each section of the book that pertains, pertains to each of the films. So that's really kind of cool. So really great book there. And then again, we have our limited edition card here. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so we have 40 guns. 
House of Bamboo, Hill and High Water, Pick Up on South Street, and uh, Fixed Bayonets. So another great, great, great release by Eureka Masters of Cinema. And let me know in the comments down below if you're planning on picking up any of these titles. Again, unfortunately, Quaidon is out of print. Um, but at time of filming this video, both the Buster Keaton set and this Samuel Fuller box set are in print and uh, are available for purchase. And maybe if I can get this in here. Um, something to mention as well is that Eureka is uh, very good at um, shipping items out and protecting the uh, the items during shipping. So finally got the book in here. I knew I could do it. Um, they're really good at shipping items out. So I wouldn't have any hesitation in buying from them if you live like I do in the United States. Um, things usually come in really good condition. So again, we have our Full Art Fox, Buster Keaton, and Kwai Don from Eureka Masters of Cinema. All right, guys, as always, I wanna thank you for taking the time out of your day to come over by the channel and check out this video. If you did find this helpful in any way, I invite you to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and also the bell icon so that you're notified when I do upload new content. As always, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and comment down below and let's keep the conversation going down there. And until next time, this is David signing off with Cartoon Fortress and I hope you have an awesome day.